I can get sucked into a mini world so easily. Like, I love little model cars. Oh, yeah. And little man, t- I like little tiny versions of big things. I like feeling like a like a big guy. So, like, with the, the Zen Garden you know? with a little rake, I, I, my yeah, hand, if I somebody that. says little rake, my hand just immediately goes like this. Mm. And I, I get, I just want to scrape it. But, and then they put the little pegs in it. Because you got to be, be gentle. When they get to the peg, they like do a circle around it. And they get to the next one, they do a circle. Oh, it's so good. It's so f- satisfying to watch. That's what the little marble thing so I like calming. because it's it's doing it on its own and the light changes. But I, I was I, telling you about the one on Kickstarter. You can you can uh, do your own images. You can like upload oh, yeah. pictures. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm saying. If you get like a coffee table size. It's just size little that, though. Get a coffee table size. Yeah. It's just magnets. It's just magnets is really funny. <laughs> it's just magnets. I don't know how it works, Dude, but it's magnets just magnets. are the weirdest fucking thing because you know how they work? No. Nobody fucking Nobody knows. Nobody really knows. Because it's gravity. And yeah. you don't nobody knows how gravity works. It's all just theories. Right, but I thought gravity was had to do gravity with the is, size of something. Gravity is um isn't it like the attraction between two objects based on mass? I don't know. Gravity. Almost so I, th- like, I thought it had to gravity, do with size. Gravity is almost like a bending of. Well, not if you can control gravity. It's not about size. Like the way UFOs work. Right. So, oh like, yeah, like, like Bob Lazar works. Bob Lazar was talking about exactly. Like they say how it's not like a motor, like how we have, where it like jets you forward. It's more of like there's a mechanism inside of the, like kind of at the bottom, near the front, mm-hmm. that it kind of. It's a gravity machine, like it makes gravity, mm-hmm. and it bends the space in front of the UFO to where, like, it's almost like a slope. Right? Yeah. So, like, it, it then like, it can slide into. So that it's almost like void. the UFO is sliding, but like it's so as it's sliding forward, the gravity gun machine or whatever. <laughs> you, I don't know. I don't. It know. like like it's like destroy all humans. The Love. gravity gun, right? Right. So it's like that, but it's like it's just in front of the ship. It's shooting forward uh-huh. right right below and in front of the ship as it's sliding down so it's like a perpetual slide so right? it, it perpetual? continues perpetual is that the right word no it's yeah, like it's no, like an it, infinite slide like it was yeah. like it's you can that way that's how it can like maneuver so quick and fast cuz it's not it's not like an engine propelling it it's like sliding down a hill it's right so right. it can be like vroom, 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 like all twists and turns so in theory when that happens it, when it it enters the void that it just created. Yeah. Is it like sealing itself back up behind it? Or is yeah. that spacious fucked now? No, 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 no. It's exactly, it's, no. It's like, You're okay. Right. So it's just replacing the it's void. Making, it's almost like, I think perpetual is like, right. It's almost like making a wake in front of you. Like you're moving things yeah, out of the yeah, way. Yeah. You're going, and it's going, it's going around you like that. It's going, like it's, like this is the UFO, this microphone right here. Uh-huh. Like it's going like, you're shooting off. And it's going down and it's just kind of going, kind of just pushing it like that. Right. So it's really smooth. Oh, it's like um, the when they do the wind-resistant test with the smoke. You know, like the little, they put like a little plane into a tube oh, and they yeah, have the smoke. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the right visual, I think, yeah. Because, well, no, that thing is moving. Oh, man, that's, what, how did we get here? I don't know, <laughs> man. It's a down. weird, it, UFOs are weird. It's and they're so definitely a, weird. Not, and there's like a lot happening about oh, actually, them right you know now. What? I was about to say they're not a good like starting point for podcast episodes because you know they're so like dorky and weird. But actually, right, right now, it, they're kind of a hit. It's yeah. kind of like yeah, it's, we're kind of like accidentally geniuses, which is what you need to do, right, to be in this business. Right. So like, high five. Welcome to the Millerbrook Road, fuckers. <laughs> you also shouldn't insult your audience, but that's right. always that's always bad. Uh, I'm Van. This is Trace. We are here to walk you down this path right? with us. Path number 59. I, I was going to say to teach you something, but don't listen to us. Just walk We're, with us. You can listen to us. And listen, yeah, just listen. But don't you don't have to take our advice. Right. Because like, we're definitely not... I'm a college dropout. You dropped out of college, but then you went back. I finished. Yep, I finished. I tried to go back. I didn't want to. I finished, and now I'm working in a field... That is different than the degree I graduated in, which I think is most people. That's like you, like every, it's like a one and two. 
That's how the case. Yeah. Yeah. I think most people are doing something different than what their 18-year-old brain told them they want to do for the rest of their life. God, I hope so. I hope so. And if you're not... The idea of, like, getting into a job right out of high school and then, like, being in it for, like, 50 years. Yeah. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, you should write haikus about it, about how miserable that life path sounded. You used to write haikus about it. I love haikus, dude. They're so simple. Yeah. That's I love the boiled hey, I'm downness. Not, I've written I've written my fair share of yeah. notebooks of poetry. I have a whole uh note page. I was cool once. Yeah. I have a whole I, I had friends. I have a whole note page on my phone of of haikus. That's cool. That's it. No, give me one. Um the one on my first day as a teacher, that's what I used to do, which I don't like, and that's what I graduated in and all that. Teaching is great. You're all yes, heroes. It's it, so difficult. It is so hard. Keep I w- talking. I'm going to yes. shut that door. I wrote a haiku that was, and if I get the syllables wrong, it's fine. Or I guess I could just look. No, 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 no. What? The syllables are the whole point. I know. That's why I said, hold on. That's let me the look. whole point. You're right. I meant like I was going to give you the gist of what it was, but... I have to find it first. But it was I I'm I'm not even exaggerating. This was my first day at my new job. So I had I had been working in schools, yeah. but my first day as a teacher, we had like teacher meetings and I was listening to the 8 hours of meetings and I wrote a haiku that yep. says um my shoes are shine now. Fresh polo one button down. 30 more years left. Oof. Wow. And it's probably more than that, really. It probably would have been 40. One time, I sat at my cubicle, and I just wrote down in my notebook, Ah! <laughs> and then I ripped the page out and threw it away as my boss walked up. <laughs> that's not That's not a lie. I did that. I was so frustrated that day. Holy shit. I did a funny. lot of that. I had to, I've done a lot of like angry writing. Oh, I do that all the time. It's so nice. I do that all the time. I don't do it as much anymore, though. If, if yeah, I do, no, not if I do, it's usually it's usually toward myself because right. I'm just not listening to myself. Yeah, I get. I keep on eating the cookies, and I'm like, "Stop eating the cookies, fucker! You gotta. You're, it's it's a, it's eleven thirty night. Go to bed." And I'm like, "But I just had coffee." He's like, "Stop reading those fucking conspiracy books and go to bed." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, and so I have to write it down." And then I wake up the next morning and going, "What the hell were you two doing?" Last I night? find myself in a lot of situations of awkwardness. And I'll write to to get through it. You know, like you see the meme of people like checking their phone and they're looking at the weather app or whatever. Oh, I will. Yeah. Oh, I will like go in to a, in a crowd of people. Like, yeah, I do. That they'll get the, the weather app or their photos on the bus or the train. I will. Yeah. I will write this. Right. Oh, yeah. I will write this. Writing means nothing. This is. Um, this is worthless. I am just filling time, and I'll just write. Yeah, sh- I've done I'll that. I've done that. that. I've done that at parties. I'll write that, and then I think, why am I not writing? something why am yeah. i writing yeah that this exactly. is not writing like why yeah i'm like this is just to waste time just this is to kill time. i'm like yeah. i should just write one time uh remember that book fair i went to when i remember when i wrote that book yeah and i went to that i don't know where's i was i saint joe saint joe i saint think joe. Well, i didn't go the, the fucking yeah uh the <laughs> I don't heard, worry i know i hey, know i barely went let me tell you the story <laughs> um it, it was it was very strange it was small and it was great. Everybody else was everybody else there was definitely like kind of established already. They had their own books. Some of them had like a lot Ten. of series, like a bunch of books, right? right? Like a bunch. They were romance books, so like I don't, I don't know. But um, I just had that book, and I didn't know what to bring. I didn't know what this was. I thought we were just like promoting our books, mm-hmm. but really, I didn't know like at book fairs, you because I haven't been to too many. You just you, you bring a bunch of books for people to like take. Oh, right. You bring like copies. I brought one book. Oh, okay. He's like, this is what it looks like. And it was just, it was a, just a simple book. And uh, I, I didn't have, like, people had like posters and they had like the back, like the wall. Damn. Like back wall right, stuff. Right. Yeah. And I just had like a table. I didn't know. And we literally just like grabbed pieces of paper and like put information on it. Like it wow. was so weird and awkward. Yeah. But, like people, they were nice. I met some cool, I mean, cool authors. They had, they had some interesting ideas. Politically, and whatnot. <laughs> there was definitely like pre Q, but like it was like definitely like Q the prequel. You know what I mean? Like QAnon the prequel in there. I a don't bit for I, some people. I don't know what QAnon is. 
good. Stay yeah, I don't where you I are. Truly, stay don't where know you what that are. Means. Don't worry about it. Not even it's it's fine. But anyway, so you know, I was talking to people. It was awkward. Uh, this one lady came up and straight up told me like everything wrong with everything I did with my book, which was cool. She was the one with all the rom- romance books. Shout out to my mom. She was like wanted to rip her head off. Oh, uh, I thought you great. were making a joke that the woman was your mom. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> it was no, our no, mom. No, mom was supportive. But anyway, I eventually <laughs> like mentally just completely checked out of the whole event because yeah. it, it was like there wasn't a whole lot of people there that anyway. Sucks. And so I had my notebook like one of these like you know one of these little black composition yeah. i have a lot of these black composition books in school but i didn't you know i, I never used them in school i always use them for other stuff isn't but that funny yeah, it is funny i dropped out of school um <laughs> and so i just took one of those out and i wrote like a 30 page pilot for this like ancient roman gladiator tv show that i had an idea for and That's like people cool. were like coming up to me and like trying to talk to me about my about book. book and i was just literally i was literally just like huh and they were like, what's it about? And I was like, oh, it's, you know, I gave them like a little 10 second thing. And then they just yeah. kind of like wandered off to the next person. And I just went straight back. Into do you the... remember much about your book? Like, do you remember the storyline? Yeah. The... I mean, yeah, to a degree. Yeah. I always think Why about. Why do you mean to promote it? No, I just meant like, I think. I think um... it's still available for very overpriced. on. I, I would think eventually writing a book, I would forget. What I wrote. I did for a while. Well, after and I wrote it. I was more like mental drain. Uh, right. I will say, though, that like I've written very small scale things in my phone. And I'll go back and read them. And fucking humble brag here. I'll go, man, that's pretty good. That's good. I, I need to like keep going. Yeah. But or I'll, or I'll be reading something and I'll go, oh, I know what I'm doing next. I'll, I know what I'll write next. And then I get to that part and I've already wrote it. And I'm like... Oh, that's fucking good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, man. That's what Hemingway Which is said. weird. I Hemingway always said you got to stop when you know what the next thing is so that when you start again, you already know where you're going. Yeah. I I have worked on a little thing, but I need to get back to that. That book was seven months of no planning, just straight true of consciousness. And then like, it was like five months of that and then two months of like panicky, like trying to like order things together. Mm-hmm. I would not recommend writing a book that way. Right. We, we remember, you... remember that time we went to Starbucks and I was like, Oh yeah. yeah. We were both working. And I was like, I'm going to write down ideas for stories. And you were doing, you were writing down ideas for something else. Yeah. I think I was doing schoolwork, but yeah, and we I were think... like, we got to work on these two things. Yeah. And that was one of those. Like the only thing we were there for a long time. I actually like jokes aside on people using the free Wi-Fi and getting coffee and like that whole pretentious look that people have in a coffee shop i really enjoyed it i like coffee yeah Uh, it's warm um it smells good in there and it's just a great place most it's usually pretty chill in there so like it's yeah i i I haven't done that get somewhere like by a window uh there's a coffee shop in hannibal that i uh java jive that i go to java Uh, jive I've, i've gone to before a few times it's great i mean that's like where you go though to do that people have people bring like entire like research papers yeah. and stuff like stacks of books and that's cool they sit there all day it's well so, that's where the it's a the, cool place the lost boys of hannibal podcast that's where they go that's where they do a lot of their stuff which oh, is cool hey you i thought you said your wife was out of town i'll tell you what she's doing right now <laughs> she's spending all our money she's, she's trying she's spending all your money on lottery tickets my guy she's trying she's trying to get the mega millions apparently it's up i think it's over a billion dollars you could make a hell of a movie with a billion dollars. Dude, <laughs> that'd be crazy. I would make Oppenheimer 2, and I would show all the aliens that they didn't show. Wow. Yeah. I have one more question about your book. Do you? Well, not I would book. show them blowing up Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I thought Nagasaki. that's what you were going to say. No, I, I, do wish, be... I do wish there was more bomb, but you don't really want You don't want you don't, it. Because I like, I like how they didn't show I like how they show the bomb leaving, and then... The the only thing they uh, show of it after that is like everybody watching the footage right. from it. So, yeah, like, just I'd, Oppenheimer at uh, it, Los Alamos. I was, like, was kind of like I was waiting for it to like for them to show, and I think that's what they wanted. Yeah, and I think that's was the point is that they everyone because everyone who act like oh it's whatever. Yeah, but like when you're like about to see it because you know because you all know the story. Right. The whole, yeah, you yeah, should Tom know bomb. what's happening if you don't know what like radiation and what it does to you. And if you're watching, if you don't know all that stuff, and you're watching Oppenheimer, like you don't have, you have literally no knowledge of what radiation can do to your body. Um, I've 
I don't know how you we got don't know that how, movie. Yeah. How'd you get into that movie? We why, don't know why how to are help you there? You. Who dragged you there? Uh, it's clearly not for you. You should have watched. You went to bar. You were going for Barbie. You didn't mean to. Oh, uh, went in the wrong theater. That's yeah, what you, happened. You you were looking for Barbie Heimer. You found Oppen E or Oppen B. Oppie. Oppen. Oh, Opp. It's just Oppie. Opp B. Oh yeah. Because yeah, Opp B. Because it has to have that B in there. Um. Last question about your book, and then yeah. we'll move on. Oh God. Or not it. not your book. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever write another book? Yes. That's cool. I hope. That's cool. I hope so. It's hard. That's cool. I've been working on one for like years. It like sucks. one concept? Yeah, fuck, it sucks. Oh. I thought I was done like so 20 times. Are you done shitting on, uh, what's his name? Game of Thrones guy? You want to talk about George R. R. Martin? No, right I, don't, now? I don't. I don't. I don't. That motherfucker. No, that's I don't. different. He's been working on those books since the 80s. Yeah, he's, he's been working on those for one. literal and they're decades. They're great. But here, I'll tell you this right also. Uh, a lot of those storylines are real events, or at least they used to be. So he maybe maybe that's why he's slowing down because he has no more he's resources out of history. to pull from. Maybe yeah, I he don't can't, know. I mean, he can't just drop a new. Unless he just starts repeating storylines. He, I mean, you could just do that with, but it depends on what characters. I don't know. Well, he's only on like book six, so it's still. I don't. But he's done writing them. The the show is over. No one who even talks about Game of Thrones anymore. To be honest, I don't think about it all. To be honest, who even talks about Game of Thrones anymore? Isn't that weird? Still haven't seen House of Dragon. Who even did anyone? I think everyone was already over it by the time COVID happened. I yeah. think everyone was already I mean, over it. As soon as Twitter had about a week to shit on the finale, oh, which more than a week, dude. I kind of was... like okay. However long it was, cow, and then man. it was like, all right, we're done joking about this. Yeah. And then it was gone. It was and it like, was like House like, of Dragon, you know but how, like, I, I didn't even watch it. You know what it's like? I think it's like this. You know how like when you're on Instagram and you hit explore and like you see like, I'm just going to be simple about this. You see a bunch of, you, you're like, oh, I like apples. Yeah. You see a bunch of pictures of apples all over yeah. your explore page, right? You're like, oh, apples, nice. And you're like scrolling through and all of a sudden you see like a banana, right? You're like, oh, nice banana. And then you like like it, right? And the next time you get on, you have like half banana pictures and half apples and you're like mm-hmm. what the heck i yeah. just like that one thing what if it's like this with game of thrones where they you know it was very loved and whatnot and people were wanting to watch because they're like man i've been hearing about this game of shit my skulls dude Skull- all the skulls. skellies are falling uh they're like oh i want to watch game of thrones because everyone says it's like the greatest show of all time right oh, greatest show of all time greatest show of all time i want to watch it right then finale happens Everyone's shitting on it, shitting on it, shitting on it so bad, so hard, right? Algorithm changes on Game of Thrones. And now, people that go to see it, all they see is a shit, is all about how the ending is shitty. Mm-hmm. But, and most people, the first, what do they do when they get a new book? First thing they do. They read the last they page. They read the last fucking page for some reason. I don't know. I'm pretty sure our sister does that. That's fucking. I've that's never what, done that in my life. You know who did that? I'll tell you this. Hey, shout out to Weezy. You know who else did that? Fucking Adolf Hitler did that. And fucking Mussolini did that too, I heard. The Oh, I thought you were being serious. Yeah, fucking uh, Bill Cosby did that once with a woman. He fucking showed her the last page of a of a 40,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and she was like, what? Dude, you know who else did that? Wow. Kevin Spacey did that. Kevin Spacey? What do you think? Do you think he should be back in movies now? He reads the last page of uh, Game of Thrones. Kevin Spacey got he, acquitted. That was a bad book. Uh, he reads the last page of... Um, it's a good book. It's Captain good book. Underpants. That's a good book. Uh, <laughs> series, good comic series. Uh, he reads the last page of... I can't think of a good book. I'm, I'm stalling. I'm, um, Ready Player One. He reads the last page of Ready Player One. He knows exactly what happens at the end. The good guys win. Oops, spoiler alert. I don't believe in spoilers. Sorry, I was really spiraling right there. Um, Kevin Spacey got acquitted on all crimes, but they... Yeah. But... So, but Acquitted doesn't necessarily mean that you're innocent, right? Acquit I don't what's acquitted is like the court couldn't really come to a determination, so they say, Well we can't prove you guilty, so Right. You're I don't I don't even really it's, feel like you're being called the innocent. The verdict though. was not guilty, right? That's yeah. what it was. Like it's like the evidence I mean they have evidence against him, but the jury was like no, you know, not guilty, basically. So, so I mean, it, it's basically like everyone's looking at you going, and you feel like you're guilty. Yeah. But, like, the jury, I mean, they, right, they based did. on the the evidence given, uh, and also based on the charge as well. But, you have to remember that. Whatever the charge was, that's also true. very important. Because you can't be like, 
Um, I'm, you know what? I'm done making examples for now. I got to let my brain cool off. You but keep a, talking. Acquitted doesn't necessarily mean, or acquitted is different than, like when they buy the people out, right? Like on bail. No, uh, like when when somebody like uh, what's it called? Like a plea uh, plea bargain or something? When when like yeah, the first example that comes to my head is like where these girls are like, oh, this athlete raped me. And then he just pays it off, so he's like, that didn't happen, or maybe it did, but he pays them off so that the court case doesn't come to fruition. Oh, it's almost but like this a, is different than that. Yes, Acquitted is a plea bargain is something like the 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 guilty party, like the Michael Jackson party, guys, the person, like they they sign that, mm -hmm. and then they like, you know, like, well, I'm, you you are basically declaring yourself guilty for some things. It's like a middle ground, yeah, kind of thing. I don't know, but and it's and it's kind of outside of court. I dropped out of college. Do I have to keep saying it? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's basically, yeah, it's a plea it's bargain. usually settled out of court. Settled, exactly. Yeah, you're settling. There it. you go. So they took a settlement. Settlement. They took the settlement. Yeah, it's, um, but. It's like, yeah, so, it's like, so basically, like, you're admitting guilt, but then you're like, well, like, to these specific things. And you're like, well, I mean, if you're basically, you're admitting guilt on the whole thing. Right. But I guess whatever. So we have this Kevin Spacey article that The Guardian wrote, and. One of the things I want to pull out, it just talks about how he was acquitted. Yeah, it's from like a week ago. From his court case. And so now he's going to like try to, you know, come back to acting and, and do yeah. what he was doing. I Regardless think, of what you think or whatever. What do you think his next he role He was be? fucking Dude, he's the fucking killing man, it. dude. He's the fucking man. He's in some shit where you're like, it's, this dude's a good actor. This is one of those situations because he is like a four-time Oscar-nominated motherfucker. Yeah. Um, you, you get into a little slippery sloper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it do. It's Am just I excited like, to see him in more movies and TV and entertainment? Right. Yeah. Does I'll say it. His level. I'm upset by his behavior. Yeah. But if I'm not, I'm not gonna go and see his movies like out in the theaters. Right. Because first of all, he's not gonna do like a fucking blockbuster immediately. No. He's going to do like small indie films in the UK most likely. That that people will hire him yeah. to generate buzz around their little project. Exactly. You know what I mean? He's exactly. going to get a role He's going to be a because buzz somebody's going to be like, right now. oh, be like that would be years. controversial and people will talk about it, yeah. but if the movie's good or if his acting's really good, maybe it'll... His acting's probably going to be fucking spot Th that's on That's what's like usual. crazy is like, he's, he's a good fucking He's actor. a good actor. Like he's you really good at it. Hey, Hitler... He knew how to rile people up. He knew how to lead people. He knew how to Well, maybe talk. not. Okay. He was good he at talking. He knew how to talk loudly. That's, that was his thing. Um, he knew how to use words. He knew how to use the language to his advantage. Strange side question. Would you recommend Mein Kampf? Be, um, because somebody I else brought it up the I other think day. It is a, it, I think it's an extremely interesting look into a future dictator's Right brain because you see all... him, you see him right after the beer hall, uh, beer hall push push, uh, when he was like twenty two when he first got arrested. That's when he writes the first half of the book mm -hmm. when he's in prison, mm -hmm. and he's basically like he's literally like, uh, talking about his before coming to Vienna and like going to art school and dropping out mm -hmm. and blah, 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 <laughs> cry 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 I'm so <laughs> mad at the world oh my god and then the second half is oh no wait I think the first half is just a memoir and the second half is him in prison I feel like you I, you said the first half the way his, his tone comes across is very like idealistic and it's like very, very idealistic he's talking about like when he was when he first joins the national socialist party yeah. and it's like super small and he it's yeah. it's you're you're half of the book you're There's it, like, they almost trick you he yeah. almost he literally almost tricks because he wrote the book it, he literally almost tricks you into rooting for him right at half of the book when he's younger because he's talking about how he joins this uh, party i think it's before the national socialist party i can't remember what he was what it was called before that uh -huh. but it's there's like I think it's like 40 members or something in it, like going to these meetings right. every week or every month. And his job, because he's the new guy, and he's <laughs> handing out the pamphlets and whatnot. And he's like re like really like pushing it. Like really yeah, and he really believes in really it. Really believes this cause. And he's trying, because, you know, Germany got fucked after World War I. Uh -huh. They were gutted economically. They had nothing. Uh -huh. And uh, people got to remember that Hitler did rise the entire country out of the fucking grave in like 20 years, which is yeah. insanity. Yeah. Um, I mean, they were doing well before. 
they were, you know, they were getting there. But anyway, that was all military industrial complex thinking. So that's why it happens. That's why America also got. And there. then the second half. Of anyway, this book. so yeah, so he, so anyway, so he's handing out these pamphlets in the first half, and he's like, no one's coming, no one's coming, and then he spends like two full days, like not sleeping, just like handing out these pamphlets and like yelling at people on the streets to come and like trying to get people to come. And he's like so excited because he's going to walk into this big meeting and all the leaders are going to see how he brought in like hundreds and hundreds of people and all this stuff. And then he gets in there and there's like half as many people as there normally is. Like it's like even smaller. Like his whole, and he was like telling everybody how he was bringing so many people. And then there was like seven people there. Like it was like, Oh. So bad, and but you know he gets better. But yeah, you can't. Hey, try, fail, try again. Right? He tried again, and right. so the second half of the book, I believe it's when he's in prison. He's like dictating it to someone. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I can't remember. Now. Writing letters or something? No, I can't. I just he's like writing this book. Oh, um, I can't remember. Oh, God damn, I can't remember when he's writing it. But the second half is him basically, like I would say a year or so before he becomes like. Uh, like the l- ultimate leader, chancellor, the mm-hmm. mind fuhrer, all that stuff. So he's like, basically, he literally like outlines the three Reichs, like the the whole uh, Berlin will reign for a thousand years and all this stuff. Like he he like literally like he outlines exactly what he's going to do. And if you look at World War Two timelines, it's like boom, 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 boom. He did it, and then it fucking crumbles at the end, dude. It, he had a fucking an ideology. He had a plan, and he had the damn resources to get that plan wow. done, dude. We and we gotta remember that we are fucking lucky. The Russians took care of that shit. We are lucky yeah. that Hitler decided to march into Russia well. and tried to do all that snowy stuff because, dude, like yeah. the Germans were knocking on doors. It was scary. Knock, knock, knocking on. Um. So the that's what the Jews were singing. Him- Imagine how different American history would be if the, if, well, world history would be if Oppenheimer was able to get it done fast enough to nuke Germany instead of Japan. That would have been, dude, Germany would have been. That'd be a good. Germany would be a hole in the ground. It'd be a hole in the ground. Yeah. That small country. Um, It would, that would be an awesome uh, like what if? Like Marvel does the what if? All like, of Europe would be if, fucked. Yeah, if somebody could actually go in, like I'm talking, actually go in and look at how it would affect finances and other countries and all the 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 like butterfly effect of instead of dropping it on Japan, dropping it on German. There's got to be a freaking book or something. Somebody's probably already thought about this. You know what I mean? Mm. Of like, just oh, like yeah. in um 112263 where he. Obviously stops the JFK assassination spoiler, and super good. You know he comes back to present time, and um, Stephen King kind of outlines what would have happened because if JFK was the Antichrist, right? <laughs> and he was going to destroy the world oh. in 1966. Gotcha. Wait, yeah, and 66. Then, so, so if somebody could do that style of like storytelling, but with if the if Oppenheimer had gotten the Germans. I don't even want to put Oppenheimer on it. If the U.S. military... Harry S. Truman. Yeah. Or if FDR didn't even blow the bombs and we would have let Germany just use up all the... Re- or Japan use all the resources up and then just surrender. Mm. Like, six months later. So, do you think Spacey should be in movies? <laughs> um, I... Mm, you know what? He's found not guilty. Uh-huh. That's the law. He can do he was this. He's acquitted. No one can. I mean, people are gonna get mad. Yeah, that's... this is maybe. I hope he's learned his behavior from amongst the trees. He's been in the woods, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know doing what chopping wood, maybe. What about this? Is kind of adjacent. What about um, Alec Baldwin? What do you th- what after do you... he shot that person? Yeah. What do you? Th- I think that one's. Uh, this is this is so different. Did he was that woman on the set? She was working on the set. Yeah, she wasn't an actress or anything. No, she was like the. She was off camera. Assist, yeah, she's like assistant director. Was he like she, fucking around with her? I can't remember. No, no, they were shooting a scene. Yeah, they well, were shooting a scene. The story go. He says the gun just went off. First okay. of all, it shouldn't be loaded. It shouldn't be a real gun. 
Um, and it hit another guy too. He didn't die, but, um, so then it, then it became a pointing fingers at, well, the prop master gave it to me and the prop master said, well, you mishandled it. And then this person said, well, I didn't think it was loaded. And then you thought, you know, and it just turned in this weird yeah. finger point. So I guess more my question is, do you think that movie should come out? Cause there are plans to go ahead. They finished, they yeah, finished shooting it. And then they're going to release it. I mean, I'm going to fucking see it. I someone, do want to see it. Someone died making it. I'm going to watch it. I do want to um, see it, but that's it, it's the hard. sick part. And that's my own demons to deal with. Right. But, I mean, yeah, people are going to see it. And, and regardless yeah. if they release it or not, it's, it's going to be seen. It's hard because the man's widow, excuse me, the woman's widow probably has to be, like, super upset by it. Yeah. And, and that would be the hardest. He's... He's like the one person that it affects. Yeah. But then you think about it on the other side, hundreds of people were working for this movie to be finished. You know what I mean? Like it also if they I don't I don't know. It's so hard. If because there's so many other people that put their time and effort into making the movie and that was their job to do so. And and then obviously something horrible happens. But you know who's in that movie? Mm. The kid from Nets Classified. He's in that movie. Oh. Yeah. He, he, that was like, he was, I heard him talking about how that was like one of his first roles in a long time. And one of his, one of his first roles where he was like really into it. Cause he was playing like this grungy cowboy, the, you know, yeah. like old West thing. And he was like, this is so, this is what I thought acting was. And then of course, you know, I was looking for, just, uh, there's a, there's a story of an actor who jumped off a, cliff like in a movie there was like a fall tom cruise no this is like an old movie and he like they got it on camera for the shot and he slipped and he he missed the he jumped but he missed the uh air mattress and he fell like 40 feet jesus like just like jump like just like swan dive yeah right missed the mattress i think he's gonna hit it. Yeah, the the shot is in the movie yeah it's in the movie oh. it's a good shot I mean, the jump was like, I mean, the first half of it. It's just the first half. You got it, but he and, died. Oh, yeah. You got to think. So do you think that's worse than the Alec Baldwin thing? Oh, my god! Because that's on camera. His death is on, his death fall is <sighs> yeah, on her, camera. Her death definitely won't be on camera. She wasn't even an actor in it. Um, Occupational hazard, I guess. I mean, it sucks that she fell. That hurt that she died. That, how does. I don't know, though. I don't know how I you deal with that. I don't know why that gun's loaded. Though. I don't know how, like, legally And, like, you the crow. Yeah, the crow. God, that that's sucks. insane to that's me. That's the worst one, I think. It's actually making movie. There's people that have died making movies. Ask anyone under forty. That's the worst one. All along, but that it just doesn't make sense, man. And then something like, um, which this is a little bit different deal. Um, when Heath Ledger passed away, he was making that uh, requiem. What is it? Requiem, requiem for a dream. Something like that, and. It was like two other actors. They like used his part, mm. and then two a- two other actors filmed like the stuff he didn't get to. Mm. Dude, we're getting down to such a weird rabbit hole right now. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. It's like Heath Ledger. I mean, I know that Requiem for a Dream um, is a Jared Leto movie. Is it Jared Leto and um, shit? I can't think of it. But they they stepped in and finished oh, yeah, the movie. So that's right, that movie came out. Oh, you might be he right. Had, he had only filmed like a third of it. Yeah. So you then might he be had like right. friends step into it, but interesting. The, the, I do I think <laughs> Alec Baldwin's a bad person? Yeah, maybe. Did he want to kill like that overall? Woman? No, I don't think. Do you think he's a good actor? He's a great actor. Oh, he's a good actor. So too. that's 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 the dilemma. Where where do we draw the line of talent versus, you know, punishment outside behavior? Punishment. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Not. Uh, what do you call, uh, you know, support? Like, uh, like retribution? Retribution? Is that the right word? Or like, you know, training, I teaching. Misspelled and then, and then uh, returning to society, right? Isn't that how that works? Mm-hmm. Right. But. The problem is our prison system doesn't do the whole, like, teaching thing. <laughs> they just, like, put you in there. Yeah. And, and, and if you learn you on your right own, out. that's yeah, fine. Yeah, if you learn on your own, that's great. But they're not going to. They're not going to do gonna, it. But the it's 
it it's I think the reward part or you ended with, you know, the reward or get back into society. The reward part is massively overpaid in the entertainment industry. Yeah. So then it's like, should we really be rewarding this guy that I mean, anybody anybody else in any other situation, if it was a civil war reenactment and somebody accidentally killed somebody, manslaughter, boom. You oh. lose your job, you're in prison, manslaughter, you you killed them. Accidentally. That's true. So, so that's it's, true. It, um, yeah, did he get in trouble for that? They tried. And I, I think everything's been dropped. There's, there was like wrongful death suits because of the handling of the weapon, the prop master. Right. That. And then, of course, there's fucking wild shit like, well, the prop master was drunk that day or showed up high. And she it's said, like, dude. I wonder if she said Macbeth. You know how there's like that curse? I wonder if that's what she said. And then she got shot in the fucking... Where'd she get shot? I don't know where she got shot. I don't like... Shot in the body. She, but it's... Uh, they were filming, like, in New Mexico or something like that. Like, they were, like, on site, like, a aband- not abandoned. Mexico's cool. It looks like an abandoned Hey, you know, town. they got a lot of... In New Mexico? Cacti. Cacti. Got lots of cacti in Texas. Can you see my pants? Yeah, cacti on them. If you're Pretty listening, cool. They're you're, new. you're missing out. Literally sure. bought them like three hours ago. If you are just listening, you are missing They're out. very comfy. Shout out Walmart. Love it. Hey, let's move on to, uh, speaking of Requiem for a Dream, uh-huh. let's move on to some Missouri news. I want to talk about our boy Mike Parsons. Hey. Hey, Mike. Saying your name with a smile on my face. How about that? That's yeah, a fun I was... change of pace, Mikey boy. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like it. I like what you're doing. I was blown away when I saw this. Me I, too, man. I thought I was for too. sure it was bad news. I was too. Part. No, no, no. No. I mean, um, no, it is bad news. This is bad news but to discover, but I'm glad that it's taken care of. He's on the right side of it. Yes. I should, I don't um, know I should say that, but. So, Mike Parsons, I think it was just the other day, it was just a couple days ago, he signed a bill outlawing invasive exams on anis, or, what is it, anis? I don't know how you would say that. Anesthetized? Yeah. An- People under anesthetic. An- yeah, patients, anesthesia. without con- without their consent. So, like, basically what's been going on in a lot of states, not just Missouri, is when you go into the doctor, like Missouri at the hospital, and, and you go under anesthesia for whatever reason, you know, uh-huh. whatever reason they give you anesthesia, um, sometimes, sometimes, yep. just sometimes, when you're under anesthesia, sometimes. Every once in a while. Yet there's like a group of students walking by, and they need to do some like <laughs> oh, different, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're learning. Because, you know, if, you, if you're definitely uh, like the one that's in... Columbia, like the University of Missouri, this is probably where yeah. this was taking place on a regular basis. Um, we don't know that for sure. We don't but... know that. I definitely, you know what? Let me take that back. I definitely don't want to just say that, but we don't know. But this uh, was happening but in Missouri. We will say, There's if a... it was happening, it was technically legal. Not technically, it was legal. It was legal. Um, what they're doing is, let's see. Yeah, go down. No, no, go down. Oh, you went down? Go down. Okay, so... Let's see. Da, 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 da. I mean, have you said what they're doing? No, not yet. That's what I'm looking for. That's a, I, okay. I like in here. So, a little, known, a little known practice that allowed medical students to perform pelvic and other intimate exams on unconscious patients without their consent is now banned in Missouri. Without their consent yeah. no, or we did knowledge. Say that. We did say that. Okay, but I think it needs to be repeated. Yeah, I was looking for the oldest. They had the other. They had other uh, exams other than pelvic too. Okay, I'm pretty sure anal. half of the states in the United I States. I think anal and vaginal. This is and or was legal. Yeah. To and perform... everyone is shocked. Everyone is like freaking out. All the senators well, are like, "What the?" Fuck? You have people that are like, "Wait, this was happening." Like, how did we not know this so, was okay, happening? Okay, so here's what happened. Here is what happened in Missouri that <gasps> posed this whole... Oh, no, this is not Missouri. This was not Missouri, but... But it's what... Mike Parsons fucking read this story. Brought it to our And he attention. was like, I'm going to take care of this. And you know what? Shout out to you, Mike Parsons. That's good. So this is a Utah woman. Um, I think her name is in there somewhere, but we're not to worry about it. I think it's at, at Ashley White's Wheats. Is that it? By your mouse? Um, I'm not sh- sure. Anyway, a Utah woman, uh, the I this the news team interviewed, who woke up screaming in the middle 
can you stop? Okay. Who woke up... I don't even know where I was anymore. Right here. Right there. Who woke up screaming in the middle of an unauthorized pelvic exam. And she woke up. That is so... Screaming. Fucking Unauthorized scary. pelvic exam. Here's here's what I know. I just got my wisdom teeth pulled. You were under anesthesia, I was you? under some hard shit. Like, I'm talking... I fell asleep before I put my head back against the chair. Yeah. And then just woke up in mom's car. Hey. So... I need you to answer me honestly right now. It's just me and you, okay? Just to, don't... Nobody else is here. Nobody else is here. Okay. Did you walk out of that office walking funny? I actually got... I think I, I think they carried me. They carried you out like firemen? No. Oh. Or like a, like a Jewish groom. You know, they put him on the chair? Um, I was in a chair. Dude. But it was actually a whole couch. If I was ever at a concert, like performing at a concert, I would bring a, a chair out, like a dinner chair. Yeah. And I would like sit on it and have people. I'd throw it in the crowd and then have people like carry me around. Carry you it. around. That way they're not touching me. Hey, uh, let's get back to the story, okay? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Hi. It's just us. We're not talking about anything um, important. But you know, no. So this is disgusting. This is a disgusting practice. I I need to. You know what? I need, I need to talk to some of my friends who were in the medical school and see if this is if they did this. I'm curious to know if any of my friends did this now. Um, this is so fucking disgusting, dude. It makes me. I will say, squirm. Th- there is a portion of, um, the article that talks about the medical students that technically had the ability to do this that were not for it. They were like, "No, thanks. Mm. We don't. Mm. We don't agree with this." So think about a fucking eighteen or nineteen year old kid in school. They're the ones that are like, "Man, we probably shouldn't be able to do this." Um, so like. Here's one um, that was from the Kansas City University, uh, Missouri State Medical Association. Uh, They said, I'm not out in the field, so I've never been in this position myself, but I hope people start to realize this type of procedure is not okay. It's so not okay, dude. It's so nasty. That is a second-year medical student at the Kansas City University named Ashley Glass. So a literal 19-year-old kid... Shoving her hands up your... ...knew that she shouldn't be doing that, but somehow it took a... What, how long have they been doing this I don't, to us? Dude, 25 states, and we just signed dude. to not do it, which means now there's 24 that still dude. do it? You know who else was a, a medical student? H.H. H. Holmes. Holmes. You know who else? The doctors. Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein? Yeah. He was a medical student. Fucking gross, dude. But he was a doctors character. have all <laughs> right. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> not. Uh, you know what? You know what? Hold that thought, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna question that very thought. Uh, no, um, that, we, doctors are always doing that gross shit. Remember, you know, but we doctors like like they like stealing corpses and stuff. They uh-huh. like they used to do it all the time. Doctors oh yeah, are, I have you, a whole book the, about you it. Read about doctors. You learn like they're so gross. Like they're doing lobotomies on people. They're not even asking. They giving, to... They're just giving drugs to random people. Yeah. They're just like, let's just see what happens. Right. Hey, Oxycontin? Oh, they gave me a sports car? I'm just, I don't even care what's in this. Um, the fuck is wrong with you doctors? Didn't you go to school to like, to like, to like know how to take care of? Like, we trust you so much. So much. Literally, so much trust. So much. Yeah. Insane, like the way we used to trust police officers when you're like six. Yeah. You think they're like... Guardians of the town. Yeah. Just come on, doctors. Um, I will say Jeez. this is bad on Kansas's part. Um a representative from Kansas, I'm gonna say his name is uh Roy Yu. Ruizu. 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 Um he introduced a bill in to, to the Kansas government or whatever, and they shot it down. Really? He wrote, or he did the same thing that Mike Parsons did, said, hey, we probably shouldn't do this, and it died in committee. So it is not, um, yeah, it's not It's not in place. Wow. So you can still get go to Kansas and get fucking medically. Medically raped. Raped. Medically. Ooh. That's medi- a title. Medically 
<laughs> if you know, if you already saw it, you, I mean, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Here we are. Medically, um, just in invaded. Medically invaded. Mm. Like these are these are fucking lizard alien people, you know what? dude. That's good. That's a good title because that'll bring in like the the QAnon crowd too. Medically invaded, like COVID yeah. shots. Yeah, like we're, um, yeah, isn't that yeah, that's insane to me. Now I understand. No, I don't understand. If a doctor came to me and said, "Hey, we're gonna take your wisdom teeth. You're already gonna be out. We need to check your prostate or whatever." I have no fucking idea. If they said that, then I may, you know, I don't know. Maybe then I would let them. The fact that they're not asking is, yeah, I, like I can't even wrap my brain like, if around. If there's like, this. if there's like, a, they give you the, like the little sheet, you know, that you sign, that you like mark all the stuff. Non-consensual exams. You can't even kiss somebody without asking like, them. What if you like, you know, you know how they give you like the the little paper? You go, like, oh, I want this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what if there's like a little thing at the bottom? It's like, oh, if you go underneath, if you need to go underneath anesthesia, and just put it, just put it on all the sheets, just put it on yeah. all of them. Uh, if you need to go under anesthesia, uh, do you allow this, this, or this? Yeah. Like, and you're like, oh, sure. Yeah. Maybe it's like I an need or- a checkup. It's and like you're like, a- I need a checkup. Yeah, organ donor card. Yeah, exactly. I, I was just thinking that. Yeah. Medically invade me card. <laughs> Medically invade me. <laughs> Another excellent title um, from the T Money. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> medically it, invade me. What's crazy about everything we've talked about so far <laughs> is, <laughs> um. Is Ew. it's horrible stuff that you don't even want to joke about, Ew. but it's it's so it's so out there and crazy. You're like, how the fuck is this something we're talking about? Yeah, how is this going on? It's so gross. It's Ugh. something that has been okay. Let me get who quoted this. The Ashley Glass girl, uh, when she said, "I'm not in this field. I hope to people realize this is not okay." Yeah. Um, maybe it's just something that has been ingrained through practice, so people might not be consciously thinking about it. Doing something because that's the way it's always been done is not a good reason to keep doing that's, something. I literally told that to our father when wow. I read him a, this article today. What the Whoa. fuck? Again. What the fuck? Some serious knowledge from that, that second year student at uh, Kansas City University. That's... Yeah, seriously. Way to go. Way to go, Ashley Glass. Shout out Hero of the Week. That's, that's awesome crazy. for you. Thank you for bringing this... To everyone's attention, as as well as the I the what is that radio the medical the, the news uh, team? It just says the I team. I All right, team? good job, I team. The investigative team, I think. Okay, uh, go go up to the top. Um, That's disgusting. Uh, wh- whoever this team is, uh, KSHB I team investigation from last October. Way to go! Probably Kansas. Way to go. Uh, um, I will say, Ashley, if you if you need a job in a in a state that doesn't allow this. Craziness, kind of stuff. Missouri. C- just sign jump it up. the border. Yeah, hop on over. No walls here. Just... No river either to jump over. Either. That's easy. Yeah, for no them. river. Illinois has trouble. That's why they don't. That's why they stay over there. They don't come over here. Oh, they can't swim very they good in Illinois. No, they, oh, no, they cannot. Okay. Hey, Mike is. Somebody need to check this out. Um, okay, so let's move on to another story real fast. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. So you were talking about Dr. Frankenstein. You had that weird accusation about him not being real. Not okay. Okay, so I have a story here from uh, Psych.co. Uh, psych.com I follow them uh, uh-huh. get their weekly newsletter it's pretty good yeah. and don't forget to follow our weekly newsletter uh, Mellet Brick Road uh, weekly newsletter boop, 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 boop. Instagram anyway um, so this is it's advertised as the AI companion who cares the chatbot program Replica exists primarily to cultivate one way emotional bonds between users and AIs Think less the convenient task as execution of Siri, Alexa, or ChatGPT, and more the personally tailored intimacy of the Scarlett Johansson voiced virtual assistant Samantha in the film Her. Did you ever see Her? I never saw Her, but I Ooh, super good. I've seen enough to understand what's super going on. Super sad. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the idea that this, like a companion AI, is upsetting. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I do know about yeah. that movie? Mm. I do know that Joaquin Phoenix whoever he's acting as puts a um, safety pin in his shirt pocket so that when he puts his phone in that pocket, it can't go all the way down. So the camera can see over the pocket so that the, the AI in the phone oh, can see what his yeah. phone is seeing Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it, he used to put it all the way in and she couldn't see anything. Right. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. That movie's good crazy. detail. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything about it, but it's one of those things that, um, the thought of it scares me. Well, okay, so uh, 
the name's called Replica, and it's called that because it adapts to users by learning to mimic them. Right? Okay. Yeah, it's like a yes man, like a virtual yes man, it seems, seems okay, like to little me. Um, it allows guy. for a range of relationship types, but to no surprise, which one is the most popular? Romance. You have to select this in the settings? You can select, you can choose how they look, it, you can choose their okay. name. Um, oh, you get like a like an avatar to look oh, at. Oh yeah, I've watched a whole like short film on the website in this article. It's 16 minutes, we don't have to watch it, but it's, called, it it's, called, it's called My AI Lover. No, it's not. It's not scary. It's just upsetting. It's just sad. Yeah, I mean, these girls are, is it like these girls are just very upset? They're sad. They have no. They don't have no one to talk to. They're literally like talking to this. I, well, okay. I wrote a little thing about this because I think this is a thing that will continue to grow. Right. This whole idea, and I, I, I think it could be a real thing for a long time for a lot of people because there's lots of people that don't even believe that humans have been to the moon. Right, we're gonna talk about your whole Doctor Frankenstein being a fictional character thing, right? Right. right. So that whole idea of humans haven't been to the moon because they've only seen it on video, so I so you can't trust it, right? Yeah. So that's the same thing about the Holocaust. They say about the nine eleven, right. all these fucking kids because they don't know they weren't there. Yeah. Uh, and who's to say that everyone you talk to on the phone? Or through text or FaceTime. Who's to say that's even oh, a real fucking person? It's real. Right? Like the call I just took. Because these people, they're texting the AI or they're calling them or they're doing like a FaceTime, like an AR kind of thing where they're like, they're yeah, like standing, yeah, yeah. they're like standing on the water. It doesn't even look, it doesn't even look that good. That's the thing. It doesn't even look that real. <laughs> then, it's then, like, it's, it's, then I couldn't do it. And they're like standing on the water and I'm like, what do you, I don't understand. And <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Okay, so it's, it's like that uh, Descartes. Rene Descartes argument where he tried to figure out he tried to prove um that God is real right so he tried to write down a list of things I talked about this before a list of things that he knows to be true uh, right yes, and the first yes. thing he writes down is I think therefore I am yes and then he didn't write anything else stopped. after that because he can't you don't know I don't know if you're real right you don't know if I'm real right how weird is that because I know I'm real right. right like you're not fucking real I know I'm real I can't I don't know but it actually, you know, what's funny is that that's how you can make that's the argument, crazy. too, that we're all the same person, just to go on a weird ramble yeah. right now. Because if you're even if you're not real and, like, you're just a projection of me, like, you're a mirror of my mm-hmm. thoughts and emotions. Like, you're my subconscious yes. yelling back at me. Yes. Right? So, like, if you look at it that way, that does make you real. Because I'm the same thing for you. Mm-hmm. I'm your mirror, right? So like Whoa. we're both we're both like projecting ourselves on each other, and we're both trying to hold on to the projections that we're projecting Whoa. as if they're our own, even though they're not. Whoa. Right? Right. You're blowing my mind right now. We're not really touching. Right. Nothing is solid, right? It's all just space between atoms, yeah. giving the illusion of mass, giving the illusion of solidity. Holy shit. You know my favorite little... What's up? Welcome to the <laughs> Melibic Road. One of my favorite little thoughts is, um, if I can't see it, does it exist? Right. I, hey, because hey. I know how simple and silly that one is. Like, oh, I know that wall's behind me. I was me. just about to say, hey, don't turn around. It's black. But it's like... It's black behind you. I don't see it. There's nothing there. So what if it was just... Oh, There's I lo- nothing there. I, that's something I think about often, like when I'm in... Like if I'm at like a baseball game, like in a packed stadium, mm-hmm. where you, I'm like sitting there and I'm like, is there really a hundred thousand? You know, not a hundred thousand. Is there a thousand people sitting behind me in this section? And then like you're like, well, I see Dude, them, but now I don't. So what if they're not there? You know, when you're in a big crowded place and everyone's talking really loud, yeah, and like you almost and you're looking like fifty feet away, and you and suddenly like you can no longer hear anyone around you, but you can hear those two people fifty feet away having a full, I know exactly like, full what you're volume. Talking and you're about. like, how the fuck is that going on? I right know now? Ex- what the fuck is that about? Thought about that the other day when we were at a baseball game, and you just hear that that general buzz, but you can't like distinguish any words. There's forty thousand people talking. Yeah, you don't hear anything specific, and you're like, that's really strange. And then, you, like you just said, you zero in on something, and you can pick that up, and the other stuff drains away. And then another mm-hmm. thought with that that I've, I've seen like on Twitter, and I think about it every time I go out now, when I go to these places, where you stop and you go, okay, there's 46,000 people at this baseball game. 
every single one of these people has their own life with their own people. They're going to get in their own car. They're going to go home. They're going to work their job tomorrow. You're never going to see them. And you start thinking of this like makes your web. heart makes your heart want to explode. It makes your fucking makes your heart, heart want to explode. explode. It's exactly. like watching the Trinity test in Oppenheimer. I just wanted yeah. to fucking my yeah. I uh, I think about that one often. Um, you know that we've talked about it before. That That's every the name of our first single heart explosion. <laughs> everybody's a everybody's an NPC or these NPC characters. Oh, but like yeah. when I go out, I'm literally like, oh my god, those are my god, favorite people to talk these to. These are the fucking these. All these people have their own, like, thought process and, right. you know, they're all experiencing this game so differently than I am. And yeah. they're all going to go to their own house tonight. Oh, just fucking. Yeah. That's why I go back and forth on this AI companion thing. Because it's like, go, like, meet people. There's right? so many it people. Only, but this, this only further separates us. Because now yeah. it's like, you don't have to go out. Now you can, like, have a friend who's going to talk to and agree with you. He's a yes you. man. Tell you everything you, you want to hear, right? But combativeness. And, but, and so, like, yeah, you need that, not in a, right? Not in, a, like, a fighting at, way. At, but... On the surface level, you can be like, well, as long as they're, like, because it's over phone. It's almost like having, a, like, a long-distance friend that you never see. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, so it's, like, someone that you can talk to and support you and they're kind to you and, you know, they give you something. They already have those, like, full-length body pillows, right? This is This is the obvious next step. Right. It's like from the body pillow to this. Or like the, the video game. The body pillow. The anime to the video game to the body pillow. I'm not just making this an Asian thing, but that's just how it is. And then to the... It's a common thing. They're very closeted yeah. society. Closeted as in like they, they close themselves off from each other um, very easily. Yeah. Like it's like they're trained. It's very crazy. And what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Body pillow to this. And then... Let's see. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, it has an AR thing. And then eventually it's going to go to the full, like, VR haptic suit. Like we talked about last week. Yeah. The full haptic suit. They can hug you. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be weird. You walk into your buddy's, your roommate's room, and he's just, like, laying on the bed, like. Feeling him. Fe- no. Uh, uh, no. No, no, no. Being felt being by the felt fucking internet. And the he... internet is feeling up your Ones your and roommate, zeros. Dude. The internet is is coiling its fucking Weird, geary fingers Ones all over your head. zeros Ooh. sliding. Ooh. Oh, good lord. That's so weird. That's, like you just said, there's so many people that it blows my mind that that's, I mean, I guess I'm not surprised Ooh. that people have fallen to that, but it just, obviously I'm also married, so it it's hard yeah. for me to even understand I don't think I getting want to that point. Watch, watch the okay. Here's what okay. Everyone needs to watch that. Um, yeah, I need to watch that it. documentary. Let me pull it up one more time. It's only like 15 minutes. 16 minutes. 16 uh, minutes. Da, 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 da. Where is it at? There it is. My AI lover. Uh, psych.co. Just you know. Dot co. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Look that up. Yeah. P s y c h e. Dot co. Uh, my AI lover. It's probably gonna be on like, the front page or one of yeah. the one of the art one of the first articles. But uh, wow. Crazy. Very fascinating stuff. I got one more thing I want to do because we're on video. Whoa. We got to be visual, right? Go grab that thing over there. Grab that thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go grab that. Yeah, yeah. I want to show the people this thing. I don't even know what you call it. Oh. You didn't make this thing. I did not make this. Um, Move this out of the way. Can you see it on camera? This is, uh, what do you call this? Like the ring? I don't know. It's one of those. We don't have any shots. We needed shots. Ring, ring game? I just wanted to pull it out. Um, but we don't have any shots to like play with. Um, I a lot of times you'll see these at like outdoor bars and stuff where oh, it'll be. Shit, I gotta move this. Hold on. It'll be like up on the wall. Yeah, and it's like a full blown like thing. Yeah, um, I got this as a Christmas gift. It's Kansas City Chiefs. Go Chiefs! Do you... Um, God, I love Patrick Mahomes and and Travis Kelsey. If you ever need somewhere to go on a podcast, but we'll we'll have you. Um, we'll have you. Uh, jabroni. Yeah. You fucking jabroni. You fucking jabroni. Um, did you I, see the clip of him? That's all I know about Recent, him. Okay. That's the last thing I saw like about him. Like two days ago, um, at practice, he punched a guy in the head. Why? He caught a touchdown pass, and I will say the hit was a little bit late. Oh, shit, you already won. I guess. It, uh, the, the hit was a little bit late. and they Of course, they have helmets on, but then they have yeah. like this padded helmet on their helmet. 
like while they're practicing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I've so seen those. And he just like turns around and fucking smokes the guy, and you're like, what was they, the point? They of love that? doing that though. I've seen um, people. They love fucking with because that's what they're used for. Like they keep. They're even more head protection. Yeah, so like I, people love fucking with them. I think he was just mad that it was a little bit late. Um, but anyway, this I got this as a Christmas gift. Uh, I think this past Christmas, and I I had plans to make one. Yeah, because I'd been seeing it on the internet and stuff, and you could do four way. It's dope. And what you do is like when you make one, you move the little can shot glass. Can you guys see it? Is this good content? Did I do good? Yeah, I think I think you can see it. Great. Um, you can see me not get one yet. And you have um, like your shot, but I'm gonna use the lion from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, I got oh, it. See, and so then, then you, and then you so no, I would in the move. It, I would move towards you, and then you move it toward me. It's kind of big. And then whoever, um, whoever gets to it the other matter. end first. Oh, here's a beer. <laughs> There you go. Um, whoever gets to the other beer, end first beer playing card. loses. Yeah. And, or loses, gets to take a shot, I think is the yeah, what you say. And then you do that. So you go back there. And then you just go. And so um, if you guys enjoy this podcast and you want to keep listening and we're watching, you can check us out on anywhere you listen to podcasts. Um, sure. And you can check us out on YouTube, uh, Mellow Brick Road Podcast. I cheated. Um, you um, cheated? I, I, at least I admitted it. I no, 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 no. I, I made one. Oh, okay, you did make one. I made one. So then, um, okay, that time I didn't cheat. Uh, sh- uh, weekly shout out to Hoopla. Keep we love it. you. You got to keep doing it. You can do it. Um, you got uh, it. Don't forget to play. Uh, ah. uh, check us out on Instagram at Melbrick Road. Oh, so close. Uh, oh. Podcast and Spotify. Don't forget to check us out on Spotify. You can't talk now because I made it. Okay. okay and then uh, check us out on Spotify. Uh, we have video on there as well as audio. Oh. And then uh, you already said YouTube and a big announcement. Boom! Right there. Shit. It's a joyous day because I just won the game, but it's sad. As well, He's trying to get his head. It's sad, not only because Trace is still trying to make it and he can't, even though he lost. It's uh, it's Damn sad it. because I don't know if they can even, they can kind of see it. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to take this magnet down. Stitcher. The Stitcher magnet. Uh, unfortunately, as of August 29th of this year, they are closing their doors. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. Uh, so the Stitcher app, if you have it, if you have an account, it will be closing down August 29th. No worries there. All of your, if you go to their website, if you do have an account, you can go to Stitcher and they'll, you know, they have all the steps there ready for you. They're transferring all their podcasts and all your episodes and all the, all everything you have followed, all that stuff mm-hmm. is all moving to their Sirius XM uh, radio stuff and also like the podcasts are moving to their Sirius XM app which is Pandora uh, for podcasting so you will find the Millbrook Road on Pandora starting I think it's August 29th or the next day I can't remember when but uh, yeah so if you have the Stitcher app uh, it's going to be gone uh, August 29th in the end of this month but we'll be on Pandora so go ahead and sign up for that yeah. we're headed to the big time radio league Woo! Hell yeah. Other people's failures are our successes. We're going to be shock jocks. This is how it works. You kind of just fall into success. Yeah. It kind of just like happens by accident. I would, yeah, I would say most of the time. Now we just got to get Joe Rogan out of there and then we just <laughs> fall into his place. Because there's nobody <gasps> There's nobody else in line, right? We just, you think we can just jump in? We get the gravity machine and we just slide into. Oh, success that we, way. We, we bend warp- space and time around our success. That's how we do it. That's how you do it. Yeah, and then we hold a gun to our success <laughs> because he who can, can 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 destroy a thing truly controls it. And then we have full control over our success and it's going to do everything we fucking tell it to do. Like save the planet and give free books to children. Podcast Prometheus. Whoa. Ooh. What does that mean? We are Podcast Prometheus. We we what do we what do we bring we bring entertainment and and to chill walks on the beach to the people and we just let it destroy them we take we take <laughs> the vibes from the vibe realms and the vibe ether we take it from the vibe elves and their god realm and we bring it into our just dense fucking shitty reality of just yeah. heavy 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 mass it's like not even mass because it's like I, it's not even there. Like we can just go through it, right? right. Like from before, right. right? It's just space. Yep. Right. It's just space, but it's like solid. Yep. It's like pretending. So like, we we 
take the vibes out of the cool realm and we bring it into this realm and then one sooner or later we're going to be a chain to a fucking rock getting eaten <laughs> out by a eagle. Yep. Our spleens are going to get eaten out, not our buttholes. <laughs> that would still hurt though cuz they got them we got them beaks. talons. You ever see them uh, eagle beaks and the talons pop them up? Oof. You think that'll get kicked off YouTube if I put a, a bloody picture of Prometheus getting his like liver eaten out? Uh, no, it's art. Right? They can't. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. I got permission. Disclaimer. Trey said it right was there. okay or something. Uh, okay, let's see. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? No. Talk about the Colombian tapeworm? No, I think we're out of time. I think, I think we can go on. I, I think we'll save that for the next one. I All know right. people are eager to hear that. Hear about the Colombian tapeworm? It's disgusting. It's another disgusting one. We did a lot of disgusting stuff, but hey, you know what? Yeah. Thank you, Mike Parsons. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Once a year, you get those. Good job, Mike. Yeah. Congrats. Um, like I said, don't forget about Pandora. Uh, sign up for that. Follow us on that. We're already there. It's mm-hmm. waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at uh, Mellowbrook Road. And you can also see Trace on t Projects. You can get all his woodworking stuff. Please bother him. Message him for projects. Yes, please do. He's I'm waiting for He's got lots of wood in the shed, and he's looking to get rid of it. I'm kind of actually really busy at the moment, and it's a really good problem to have. I He wants to get busier. I'm working on something... <laughs> Pretty big that I haven't been this excited about for a while. There we go. Look so at that. Hopefully in the coming Join weeks. Join the hype train yeah. at hopefully Facebook. In the c- coming weeks I T-Dub can. t Projects on share. Facebook and Mellowbrook Road. And you can also find Mellowbrook Road on Instagram at Mellowbrook Road Podcast. You can get all the announcements for the show right there. Uh, or at least, you know, when the episode drops and stuff like that. Uh, as well as, like, if we're doing something together and... We can take pictures, and that's probably where it's going to go as well. Yep. Um, let's see. You can also find me on Instagram, at Van Windsor. I'll usually post stuff about the show and other artsy stuff, like uh, all this crap that you see inside of here, uh, for the <laughs> most part. Um, let's see. Where else? Oh, don't forget to sign up for the Mellowbrook Road newsletter. Yep. That drops every Tuesday uh, before, you know, weekday before the episode. It shows everything, all the articles from last week's episode. Uh, and it has all a bunch of what you're reading stuff. Uh, once a month, we'll do a what you're reading article in there. We'll have all of our book club uh, books that we read for the month. Like the July one is the July book club is about to drop. Yeah, uh, coming up. So get ready. Yeah. And let's see what else is there. Uh, the uh, Patreon. Sign up for our Patreon. Support us. Man. We love the support. We, we are. S- we're out here. We're out here, man. We're working. This is a business. We are out here. You think man. I'm just fucking sitting here on my ass? I fucking do work, man. You are laying some bricks, man. I'm fucking trying. You are constructing a path. I'm like, I'm building the pyramids. I am my own slave. I am my own slave and my own master, right? Because right. I whip myself. I go, work. Get back to work. And I go, I'm tired. Get out of bed. Get to work, Drink you some fucker. Coffee. Or I'll fucking rape you without consent when you're unconscious. And I'll go, I don't want that. Wink. Because I kind of do want that, right? <laughs> And then, uh, oh, shit. and then that, you know, that works. God, I'm all over it today. Everybody, Peace and blessings. <laughs> uh, wow. Mellow <laughs> manifestations to everybody. Don't forget to always ease on down that road. 